Hey, what's going on guys? It's uh, Psych Andrew here, and today I'm going to show you how to do a t-test in R. And one of the reasons why I love R so much. And so, one of the cool things about R is that you can actually do a t-test in both variable columns, but also through categories. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So the first thing we're going to do is load up our data file. So we're going to say x is equal to read.csv, and we're going to sh point it to the appropriate file, which we call funr.csv. And this file has a header, so we want to say that the header is equal to true. And this data is contrived. I made it up myself. And um, it's based on heart attack rates of meat e eaters versus ve vegetarians. What a surprise. So, the data is fake, but the results are real. It's one of the things I like to do. And um, you'll see when I hit X now, you're going to see the data come up. So the first thing is meat heart. It's how many heart attacks the meat eaters had, how many, ve how many heart attacks the vegetarians had. And um, in the third column, you're going to see that these two data files are combined. That the first category is the meat eaters, and then the second categories is the vegetarian heart attack rates. So this is two ways to set up a t-test with an R, which is really cool because in SPSS you can only do it through categories. So now we're going to set up the next part. We're going to do the t-test. So you just type in, you do t.test, and you need to tell it what variables you want to work with. But the variables are all the way up top, and I forget what they're called. So we're going to type in names x. x is our variable, if you remember, and voila. Here are our variable names. So now we can do t.test, and the first time we're going to do it, it's going to be variable-based. So it's going to be based on columns. So we're going to do meat, heart. So we need to tell it first where to get the variable from. So we're going to do meat, heart. We're going to tell it to get it from x. So x dollar sign veg heart. So this is telling it that it needs to go to variable x to find this other variable with inside it, this column. So you hit enter, and voila, there's your t-test. But what if we have our data set up like in SPSS, like in categories? Well, you can do the same thing. t.test, you do x dollar sign, the name of your category variable, which is meat veg, tilde x dollar sign caddy and if you see what's happening is that whatever you assign your variable as you can call on a specific variable within it by using the dollar sign so here you're going to see um, it pop up as the same thing what a surprise see the p-values are the same degrees freedom same t-value same confidence interval same the means same and if you notice the means of the veggie, the veggie heart attack rates are lower and the meat eater heart attacks are higher and that's actually true the American Heart Association endorses a vegetarian diet and so do the statistics and that's why they do so I hope you enjoyed this and learned something